Every time you record with Riverside, you now get powerful AI transcriptions in over 100 languages, and you can download that transcript in multiple formats. So what do you do with the transcript? Well, in this video, we're gonna show you how to download the three different styles of transcription from your Riverside recordings, and five ways you can use that transcription, repurpose the content as a blog, upload it to YouTube as subtitles, or run it through AI and get even more value out of that transcription. Here are the recordings from one of my Riverside studios, and you'll see right here there's a download transcript option. Here you can download the SRT format for subtitles and the TXT format of the transcription. If you download the TXT format, you'll get the entire transcription broken out by speaker, you'll see their name, but there will be no timestamps. This is a great clean transcription if you wanna use it for your podcast host, and we'll show you that in a minute. If you download the SRT format, that actually breaks out the transcription every five seconds, putting the speaker label and timestamps. This format of the transcription should really be used for YouTube subtitles or even adding subtitles in Final Cut or Premiere. We'll show you that too. The third version of the transcription you can access is when you go into the Riverside editor, you can format the clip either 16 by nine or vertical. You can edit via the transcription here on the left, if you'd like to learn more about Riverside's new text-based editor, check out this video above or the link in the description. And here you'll also see a copy transcript option right above the timeline. If you copy it to your clipboard and then paste it in a text document, here you'll get the transcription broken out by speaker name plus the timestamps for each speaker. We'll show you how to use that too. Let's say you downloaded the TXT format of the transcription. This is the entire podcast recording. Again, each speaker name is broken out. This format would be great to add transcriptions to the audio version of your podcast. Many podcast hosts now allow you to upload a TXT file or copy and paste a transcription, and it will be included in the episode page of your podcast. Here in Transistor, I can scroll down on a single episode, and you'll see the episode transcript option here. I can add a transcript, and here I'm going to upload the text file I got directly from Riverside. Now that I've added a transcript file to this episode, I can click over to transcript and right here on the episode webpage, someone can read the entire transcript of the episode. And this also helps with search engine optimization. Think about all of the words you said during the recording of this podcast, and now that's all transcribed in text format. Another great way to use these transcription files is to download the SRT format and then upload that to YouTube for a video podcast. If you wanna increase the discoverability of your podcast, adding video is key. When you record with Riverside, you can edit your video podcast just by deleting text here in the transcription editor, search for words or phrases, select them here just like a Word document and click delete, and then you can edit your video podcast right here. And when you're ready to export it, you can export up to 4K video and then upload this directly to YouTube. Once you've uploaded that full video podcast to YouTube, I'm gonna to go to my YouTube studio and click the edit for this particular episode. Here in the left-hand sidebar, I can go to subtitles and I can either edit the automatic subtitles that YouTube generated or for more accurate subtitles from our AI transcript from Riverside, I'm going to add another English caption track and then I can upload that SRT format document that I downloaded from Riverside, and YouTube will add those accurate captions to the entire episode. Using the AI-powered transcription file from Riverside means your subtitles will be even more accurate, which helps with discoverability and accessibility. Another great use case for your transcription is to actually format it into a blog post. For that, I'll take the TXT file I downloaded from Riverside, I can select all, and then I can paste that into my website, which again helps with SEO. But maybe you'd like to reformat this transcription so it reads more like a blog post. Well, this is a great job for AI tools. We actually have a whole video showing even more benefits of using AI in your podcast production workflow. You can check that video out above or in the description. I've actually added the transcription here into a Notion document running Notion AI. I'm gonna select all the text from the transcription that I pasted here, click the dots, and then ask Notion AI. And I'll actually tell it to write a 500 word blog post based on this podcast transcription. If I hit enter, Notion AI will begin thinking, and now it's writing something that looks and feels like a blog post from the transcription, and I didn't have to write anything. All I did was ask the AI to make it into a blog. And now that I have kind of a summary blog post of this podcast based on the Riverside transcription, I can ask Notion AI to make some social media posts so I can promote this episode. With that text still highlighted, I'll click the dots here and ask AI again. And I'll ask Notion AI to create five tweets promoting this podcast episode. Again, it'll base it on that text summary. All of that came from the transcription in Riverside. And now I have five posts that I can use on social media to promote this episode, all based on the Riverside transcription and me not writing a word. It's all based on AI taking what we spoke about in the podcast via the transcription and using AI to format that in many different ways. Finally, you can use that SRT file from Riverside and import that into Adobe Premiere or Final Cut to add subtitles to your video files. 
and you can even burn in those subtitles so they're always visible on top of that video. If you want to learn more about using our SRT transcriptions for subtitles, check out this video above where we teach you how to do it in both Final Cut and Premiere. And don't forget to subscribe to the Riverside channel. We have lots of exciting things coming for Riverside. Plus, if you need help building a video podcast, learning how to automate your podcast, or why you should put your video version on YouTube, all that content is already on the channel. We have some videos in the description you could check out as well. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you in the next video.